whoever's watching has had a good day. Oh, Lisa, hey, good to see you. Thanks for joining. Wasn't sure if I'd get anybody joining. I would say people are busy, but this is kind of a good time for me. How are you? You doing good? Oh, it's telling me I got five viewers. Hey, Kelly. Nice to see you here. Thanks for joining. Oh, you got out of hospital. Great. How, how are you feeling? Are you in good pain control, Lisa? Kelly, how are you doing? I need to catch up on your uh, recent lives on uh, Wedge Watch. I just, since I started, you know, trying to build my own channels, I'm way behind on watching the content that I want to see. So I've got um, loads of my watch laters to do, but I will watch them, promise me. You're loving the cat. I know it's cool, isn't it? Everybody likes it. Oh, Lisa, you're a bit sore, but got good pain meds. Good, good, good. Uh, yeah, Kelly, the same. I mean, I feel like you have to share my views. I know. It's, there's so many people, you know, that have started streaming at the same time that I would normally watch. And I feel bad. Um, you know, but you, you can't be in two places at once, can you? So I do add them to my watch later. Hey Jojo, thanks for joining, hope you're good. So, um, I know a lot of us have seen this uh, last night with Scott, you know, AD's Patreon where he was pissed. Um, but because he particularly talked about those of us that were at the um, hearing and things, I felt like I wanted to cover it with you guys. Hope you don't mind me saying guys. It, um, I don't mean anything bad by it. I know some people, some streamers say, oh, I don't mean to say guys. It's just, uh, I'm, I've always been used to saying it, you know. don't mean anything. Hey, Connie, thanks for joining. Hey, Jojo. Yeah, I'm not too bad, thank you. Caught up on some sleep today. It's difficult, you know, when you work full time. And as I think a lot of you know, I've got a degenerative spinal condition, so I'm... I'm disabled and uh, I don't sleep well due to the pain and stuff so I like to try and catch up on a bit of sleep if I can at the weekends outside of work. Okay, let me queue up uh, the bid. I'm going to speed him up, obviously. I'm going to try on... Let's see. We'll just do it on fast and then we can speed him up more if we need to. Yeah, Lisa, I know. It, it is what it is. I count my blessings. You know, there's people a lot worse off than me. So, okay. Are we ready? Like I say, a lot of us have seen it before, but it's um obviously a lot smaller audience here. You can put your opinions in chat. We can have a little giggle. Let's go for it. Oh, let me know if you can hear him okay, by the way. I can boost his sound if need be. So he's chewing. What's the betting? Where's his original? <laughs> Great. Chew with your mouth open. Great man is AD. Hello. Anybody see me yet? Unfortunately. Why does Let me know when you can this? see me, guys, please. Ooh. That I mean, it's sweet. Well, naughty, isn't it? And drink of water. <gasps> Oh, half a bottle of whiskey. Could be gin. God, that whiskey's good. No, vodka. Whiskey's a colour, isn't it? Anybody see me? Oh, yeah, it could be vodka. Am could I seen? Be. Am I live? Oh, we see you, all right. Hello. He's not happy, is he? Here, AD, just for you. How do you like them apples? Just... Oh, anybody see me yet? Oh. I guess we're live. Get that Somebody feedback. can tell me. 
Yes, they, <coughs> they see me. Hello, how are you? Sorry about my coffee. I am Alan. I am the armchair detective. I'm no longer on social media, hardly at all. You yeah, know you're pity, armchair never mind. detective. As you can see, I'm spending time on my health. Right. Arms folded. Walks every day. Change my diet. Look at that. See that body language? The arms folded and everything. What a twat. Hopefully you can see a thinner face. It's only the beginning. I've only been doing it for two, a week or so. So, But anyway, so I'm working on my fitness. Because being the centre of a hate campaign is <laughs> tiring. The of a hate campaign. Yeah, right. Why does he always think everybody hates him? I don't hate him. I just dislike him. You know, I I wouldn't waste my energy on hatred for somebody that I don't actually know who hasn't done anything. <laughs> and it to gets me, you now and again. Me. So I took a break for two reasons. One, because I think I needed a break from it. And two, because I've been working on this court. It's not a case. It's never, we never got... What do you mean it's not a case? Of course it's a fucking case. You just had a court hearing yesterday. He's just trying to think, isn't he, what he can, what bullshit he can spew to his uh, naive followers. Are they naive? Are they brainwashed? I've never had a court. There is no court case as such. It's an yes, ongoing is. civil claim by someone in America. Again, Civil court. Exactly. It's me, an ongoing civil claim. He might, might as well sue me for having the wrong shoes on. You can sue anybody for anything. But anyway, it's you ongoing. Can't. And uh, I've got to be careful what I say. Why? It's never stopped you before. Because everything I say is... Yes, Lisa, exactly. He's trying to play it down. He's, he's thinking, how can I manipulate my subs? He, he knows damn well that people were there and have covered it and that he can't bullshit in the way that he normally would do. He'd have put it across as a win to his followers if it hadn't been a public hearing. And we all know what was exactly said. Come on, twisted babe. and lied about. I know uh, there's uh, more people in here than there should be. So <laughs> I know that there's trolls in here watching. Hello, no trolls. You shouldn't be in here. This is a private meeting between me and my patrons. But you, yeah, but how do you know who's a patron and who isn't? Here, because you hate me, right? Nope, That's fine. don't hate you. Got well, bad news for you. With regards to today's hearing, you know what a hearing is? It's not it's not like a trial, okay? <laughs> is it Nobody thought it was a trial, you cretin. Hearing. I can tell you that I'm very happy with the outcome. I've written down my words so I can't get it wrong. Today was a hearing only, it was not a trial. It was a, a hearing that both sides wanted because believe it or not neither of us wants to go to trial it's too expensive trial is for millionaires no it's where you have barristers that cost not for millionaires but i agreed it does take a lot of money two thousand pounds for an hour and we have like a six-day trial that cost half a million pounds we can't afford that there is yours will not be a six-day trial it will be if it gets to the trial if he doesn't reject your defense if you actually submit it on time, I give it an hour. Yeah, Lisa, someone wrote it for him. One of his spanners. Da -da! I'm loving this cat myself, sorry. I keep experimenting, seeing what expressions, what new ones I can do with it. No trial, there'll never be a trial. They <laughs> don't want a trial, nor do I. There's never going to be a trial. It's going to be, at most, a summary decision, you know, that's the most. But today's was just about where we stand. And they stand that they issued Pick their, your nose. Um, or else. Exactly, Connie. It's not important enough for the court. It, there's not enough there to make it six days. I mean, yesterday, that hearing was... Let me see. I think it was just under an hour. It certainly was no more than an hour. And that was only because of this... Cretin. I'm using Jojo's word here, Cretin. And we were all called Cretins, weren't we? Because he kept interrupting and he kept talking about things that were irrelevant to what was being heard yesterday. If um if not for that, 
I think it would have been half an hour, to be honest. Warning, like, if I don't get a defence in by a certain date, then they're going to claim a technical victory, right? That's what that was about today. Not a technical victory. It means they would have won, because you've already been given, an ex you know, an extension. So... They didn't get it. They didn't get the technical victory. Not yet. That's all I'm going to say. They didn't get it. From my end, I was there because I want them to put up security because of what it's going to cost. But that's not what everybody else was there for yesterday, as was proved. You idiot. You thought you were there for that. Uh, oh, let's see. Oh, you got modded, Jojo. Who is that? <laughs> I'm struggling to change it. I know it takes a bit of time, doesn't it? Um, so yeah, this idiot thought that yesterday it was going to be about make you know ensuring that Frankie's side had to put the money aside, but as we know, that he hasn't made a legal application for that, so that was out of scope for yesterday, and the judge kept telling him to stop talking about it. Basically, for me to defend this is quite a lot. So I want them to put up security. From I know he lives with his mum and dad, but he's going to have to put up security to go any further. For no. Excuse me, I'm going to cough. I'm going to mute. Sorry about that. I'm on antibiotics. I've got a bit of an intestinal infection. Um, but no, what he's just said there is a total lie. Frankie is not definitely going to have to put up the money as security. What Alan needs to do is make a proper compliant legal application for that, and then the judge has to decide whether to uh, grant that or not. So he's, he is trying to bullshit already. Come on, play. Oh, Winston, you can see us in the face. For some reason, sorry. Patrons, but you're here. Don't know what Because wants to go to trial. It's too expensive. At most, a summary decision. Um, or else. Where we stand. And they stand that they issued a... Um, or else warning. Like, if I don't get a defence in by a certain date, then they're going to claim a technical victory, right? That's what that was about today. Sorry, I lost my place. Get Just it. take a sec to get back. They didn't get the technical victory. That's all I'm going to say. They didn't get it. From my end, I was there because I want them to put up security. Because of what it's going to cost for me to defend this is quite a lot. So I... Those Facebook legal videos not working out for you too well, are they? I want them to put up security. From I know he lives with his mum and dad, but he's going to have to put up security to go any further. Nope. As far as I'm concerned. Yeah, as, as far, far as you're... Concerned. Yeah, as far as you're concerned, not as far as the court is concerned yet. So they want on less order, I want security. That's what we discussed. Honestly. No, they already got the unless order, which you didn't comply with, and the judge was lenient and gave you another four weeks to comply with. Get it right. That's what got discussed. And a lot more. I'm not the one that's to pop any money. They're, they're... Hey, Asbo. Casbo, thanks for joining. Just doing my own little react. I know we covered it last night in Scots, and I think Trisha might have covered it as well. Just wanted to do it myself suing me they have to pay for everything everything not me if i lose then i've got to pay mm. at the moment they've got to pay for everything and believe me it's mounting up fast mounting up for you as well i don't know that it'll cost you 50k but you know the judge in no uncertain terms told you you've got to get it right now you go back on the 17th of may and you haven't dotted the i's crossed the d's with your legal representation you're screwed basically because I will never give in. They don't know that, but it's a fact. Yeah. As this matter is ongoing, that's all I'm able to tell you tonight. Bullshit. That's all you're going to tell because you can't lie. Because we were there. We know. <laughs> what a twat. Other than, I'm very happy that it's going swimmingly. No, it's not going swimmingly. And it's not me that's getting wet. You're not getting wet. You're the biggest strip out there. That's all I can say. No, I won't be not. asking any of my supporters for money. Oh, here we go. The psychological bit. I'm not going to ask you for money. 
and his supporters think, oh, isn't AD great? Not going to ask us for money. You know what? I'll send him a couple of dollars, a couple of quid. Seen it all before. I don't believe in asking money for money for a court case that only lawyers... Yes, you do. You've asked for money from your supporters before, in the past, years ago. Oh, truth of community covered it, idiot. So I don't want you to waste your money on me. I've done it all myself. Everything myself. And look where that got you. You did it all yourself. And you very nearly got a judgment against you yesterday. I truly believe the judge only gave him more time because him being a litigant in person and his age, I think the judge wanted to make sure that there was there would be absolutely no grounds for appeal if the judgment goes against Alan. That's what I think. And I think he's given him the least amount of time uh, feasible, four weeks. As you know, Alan asked for more. He says, I want as long as possible. I really believe that's what's in the judge's head. And it's ongoing. So I don't really know or care what anybody writes about me on YouTube or anything else. I'm not on YouTube anymore. I don't look at it. But they will tell you lies. Of course you look at I it. I guarantee they will tell you lies. No. No, 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 no. How can multiple people, there were multiple people um, from the public watching yesterday all saying exactly the same thing? And not connected people even. There were people there, you know, I don't know some I know of through the streams, but I certainly don't know them. And we're all saying the same thing, idiot. Uh, just looking at chat, Lisa, you agree? Yeah, about the judge, I think that was. Because uh, the judge certainly could see what a pain in the backside he was. Yeah, it certainly was. If you want to believe lies or even or even believe they know anything about this, that's up to you. Again, we were there, the matter of public record. They don't know anything. Oh, but we do, and that's what kills you. That's what you hate. So there, you're not having nothing from me, trolls watching me. I'm not going to lose my temper. Or we got all we needed yesterday at the hearing, Alan. Thanks very much, though. Thanks for thinking of us. Joke or say anything. I just want my supporters to know. I'll read it again for you, just in you case it to. wasn't clear. Oh, because you're calling with the support today's sick. hearing, I can tell you, I'm very happy with the outcome. Today was only a hearing where we put our side of things, what we want. They wanted an unless order and to claim a win without doing any work, without going to court. They wanted to claim... As I said, they already had the unless order and you were very lucky to get away with it. Yeah, Lisa, it's folded arms. Exactly. The body language. Defensive. He's totally pissed off because he can't bullshit. Although he's doing his best. A victory today. It didn't happen. They got no victory. Neither did you. Whatever they tell you. Because I'm still here, aren't I? But nobody's saying that the other side got a victory. Where's he getting this from? People are just reporting exactly what happened. Nobody's saying that Frankie's side got a victory. I'm going back in some weeks' time. Hey, Betty Boo. I'm not the one that has to put up any money. Thanks for lady. joining. I've asked for security. What do you mean you don't? You know, you don't have to put up money as in put money aside, but you do have to put up money for a proper legal defence. And you'll need a KC there, and barristers ain't cheap. Legally. And that's changed everything. Would they like to put up security? You'd have to ask them. But if I lose... I'm the one that has to find all this money. Correct. And if you lose, it'll be your own fault because you'll have been found guilty in the civil court of the charges against you. It's a civil case. I, I don't know if they actually term it charges, but it's, a, you know, the case anyway, the defamation. If they lose, they just go, I'm in America, boss. I can't pay you. Ain't life sweet if that happens. I've got to change that. And I am changing it. No, you're not. And that's all I'm going to say. 
You keep saying that's all you're going to say, but you keep on talking about it. They can fight and squeal and lie to you all they want. That's what where we are. I want you're the security. one squealing, Alan. They want a technical victory. I want security. That's fair, isn't it? <laughs> that's fair. Nope. But today, no one wins. Not yet. No one loses. Not yet. But it's coming. So as I say, I'm working on my fitness. Um, if anybody's got any ideas in chat, I'm gonna have a, let's have a look. What I see who's here tonight. Da, 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 rumble, rumble. Ideas so we've got for Ocean what? Lizzie, uh, Anapalaxis, uh, Irritable Owl. Nice to see you, Liz. Works Pam. Hello, Liz. Like we're all just cracking this squeal. Yeah, I know. Oh, you great. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And quite a few others <laughs> that remain nameless. Hey, Alan. Hi. I was there. I'm not nameless. I'm curious. Go. Um, so, I can't answer any questions, but I will answer any questions you want about my health. Yeah, you can't answer any questions because you can't bullshit. I'm determined for this summer, I could do most summers to lose weight. Because when you get to my age, you don't want to be carrying loads of weight around. And uh, There we go, slipping in about his age. I'm just a poor old pensioner, guys. I've got no money. My health is bad. Christmas. I, I had a laugh with one of my daughters today. Said, I said, it's all from Christmas. I put, a load, I put this way on since for Christmas. She said, Dad, Christmas was five months ago. <laughs> Christmas was almost four months ago, actually. Yeah, Lisa, old, frail Alan. I'll be claiming Christmas when it's next Christmas. So now, hopefully you'll see an improving um, AD over the next few months, physically. Yeah, physically. We're certainly not going to see an improved emotional or uh, mental one, are we? I'm sat in my lounge today. I'm relaxed. I'm not in my studio. Oh, by the way, no, I'm not in Malta, no. <laughs> I never went to Malta. Embarrassing. He's in Malta. Embar What's embarrassing? I don't know anybody that actually said for definite you were in Malta. There was speculation because previously you have gone every single time. Embarrassing. I've been working on my case with my people here. My people. Your spanners. Yeah. Hey, step it up a level. Thanks for joining. I'm working on my fitness here in the UK. It's sad, isn't it? People have to lie about you. You're sad. People have to follow you to your hotel. People have to follow you on your holidays. People have to follow you into a poker room and tell people you're a sex offender when I haven't got any record at all. Do you know what the joke is? The people doing it have got... You know what? There are SOs around that don't have a record yet. That's all I'll say. Records. Haven't you? No. Hold on, let me put that back a bit. I just want you to see me. And it's nice to see your names. Oh, gone a bit too far. YouTube. I no longer have money to take. Hold on. And my arts. I've got my art still. If you want to ask me any questions, not about any court case, but I had YouTube and my art. Sorry, I'm trying to, to get to your hotel. People have to follow you on your holidays. People have to follow you into a poker room and tell people you're a sex offender when I haven't got any record at all. Do you know what the joke is? The people doing it. Not Betty, but he hasn't a clue. You don't think you'd be getting a solicitor, a friend or family member will try to file a defence. So I look, yeah, you could be right. Not by a drop box. I don't think his family are forking out money. Yeah, you could well be right. Um, I very much get the feeling they certainly... I mean, if he does end up getting money from his family, who knows where that money originally came from, for starters. But it's very much like they weren't willing to do it unless they got the guarantee that... Frankie's side would have the money available to um, pay them back if Alan lost. Because otherwise, why wouldn't they have put it up before now? Now, this is where he's saying people do The gang stalkers have records. I've got records, haven't you? No. Never even had a driving ticket, ever. Not even that, so you're full of shit. 
there's lots of others who detract you who um they they don't eat i mean obviously i don't know for sure but i've no reason to think that they're lying he's just trying to manipulate tell his followers that everybody who detracts him has records of bad people anyway i'm not going to give them i'm not going to give them content you already have you very much already have during the hearing and during this right now cheers al i just want you to see me and it's nice to see your names if you want to ask me any questions not about any court case but about my life and basically i i had youtube and my arts i've got my art still i haven't got my youtube i no longer your own fault but i have money to take my family on trips and stuff like that i just have to manage my money a different way because when you have wages you live to those wages when you wait like all of the rest of us there's nothing makes you special alan that's what millions of people do every day it's just taken away by mass reporting you have to live beyond not mass reporting mass report you know reports alone do not result in action reporting that's found to be valid is what results in action whatever means you have so i've had to adjust everything what i spend on food what i spend on any, poker? any i'm not going to any poker i can't afford it so i won't be going to any poker right you heard it won't be going to any poker what's the betting he does later this year it's full of shit which is fine i don't need poker i don't need anything you don't I need just, poker I just, right I've got my family i've got my family that's it that's what i want so Poor when you get me. to my age i'll be honest at 60. poor me i don't need poker i just need food to live and i love my family so much uh betty anyone listening to the court coverage knows he's going to leave good solicitor may have got him off they could have found a technicality or something but i think it's too late like agree yeah he's just made it worse for himself it would have cost him a lot less i think to get proper legal advice before yesterday now it's going to cost him a lot more because it's not a large amount of time is it four weeks he's going to find a solicitor i know he says he has one lined up but he lies that much i don't believe that and he's got to get a barrister lined up, etc. And they've all got to get up to speed and have the availability to work on this in that short period of time. Nine. Most people are retired. So maybe I should take it more easy, you know? Maybe I should. But we have a long way, a long battle yet to, to go. And you patrons here, you're, you're the ones that are keeping me going. I appreciate you staying with it. If I could tell you more, God, I would. But if I tell you... No need, Alan. We've told the internet everything about yesterday, thanks. I tell the trolls. I don't want to tell the trolls my strategy, my plan of action. The trolls already know what happened. You have no strategy right now, your plan of action, other than within four weeks, you've got to get your case together properly this time. He turns up on, well, not turn up, there's no hearing on the 17th, but if he doesn't get his defence in, all properly compliant legally by the 17th then whenever the next hearing does happen he's screwed lisa he always says family because likely they're the only few people who have any time for him anymore uh-huh and they're probably struggling with <laughs> the image of your dad oh i'm sorry to hear that but yeah uh, ad is certainly a master manipulator he's always in it for his own game what he can get out of it you don't deserve to know anything well, that's the way I could tell you. But I do thank you for being there, patrons, and that your commitment is noted. And I want to thank my inner circle. Yeah, your your commitment's noted, patrons. All, what, was it 19 of them? Don't leave me. Please don't leave me. I need your Patreon money for food to live. People that helped me with this civil stuff over the last... Your inner circle that helped you with this civil stuff over the last few weeks. Yeah, they did a great job, didn't they? That was proved yesterday. They did you good. A few weeks, a lot of work, many hours work. On a... How long does it take to upload shit to Dropbox? Does anybody know? Thank those people that did that. And the good news for them is they won't have to do it anymore because we're going to be represented by a proper law firm from now on.
only because you have no choice. The judge told you you have to do that. So things have changed, which is good. I don't have to write letters to solicitors anymore. This is good. Or write letters to the judge asking for more time. That came out yesterday, didn't it? And you didn't let the other parties know either. That was back in January, February, and the other parties only found out on the 17th of April, a few days ago. Naughty, naughty. Uh, Connie, yes, he has been told to get the solicitor, but I still wouldn't put it past him to try and dodge it, you know. There's no guarantee he can actually get, um, in that short time scale, the legal representation he needs. For the reasons I said, you know, sisters, KCs can be booked up, you know, busy way ahead of time. Uh, if he does get one, it might not be the best, you know, because they're not that busy. Maybe indication they're not the best. So we'll see. Hey, RP. Thanks for joining. You sacked caca. <laughs> but um, I was surprised to see so many trolls at the court here today. <laughs> It's totally illegal for them to be there, really. But... No. Public hearing. How can it be illegal when it says it's a public hearing and if you want to be there, here's how you request it. It's the judge's clerk who sent out the link and allowed people to be there. Complete bullshit. Connie, yeah, there will always be one willing to take it on, but it's going to cost him big if he wants a decent one in that short time, wasn't it? RP, um, it was public in so much as you had to request to be there. Yes, um, make a specific request and the judge's clerk granted you access. Yeah. Betty, the judge just wants him to file a defence. Yeah, the judge did pick up on Alan's. Well, I'd say lack of intelligence and uh, strongly suggested he gets legal representation. Yeah. When I say it's illegal, I don't want to say too much about that either. Um... No, because it's a lie. It's not illegal. Oh, what a twat. I'm sorry, I'm saying that word a lot here, but just a complete lie. It is not illegal. Nobody has recorded it. Nobody recorded it and put it up on the internet, you know. That might be illegal. Certainly was not illegal to be there at a public hearing, which the court granted people access to. They can be there, but there's certain things they can't do. So, Oh, you're just contradicting yourself now. It's illegal for them to be there, and now you're saying, no, they can be there, but there's certain things they can't do. He thinks he's trying to scare people. Uh, you know, the media are allowed to be there. People are allowed... To be there to uh you know report what happened um complete shit he's trying to scare people well you know what alan i ain't scared i've done nothing wrong and the other people who've commented on it has done nothing wrong either yes rp you're right nobody's distributing it i mean who knows if anybody even did record it you know oh you didn't see it okay it well the best thing was watching how this idiot squirmed argued with the judge hilarious be interesting to see what comes out on it it will if somebody did record it and if it does get out that would be hilarious to watch but uh you know that won't be me i didn't record it so, I think that's about it. How's Winston? Winston is now an old man. Winston was so popular on this channel, it was unbelievable. He used to sit here, didn't he? Not like that, looking at you all, Winston. Yeah, because they'd rather look at Winston. We're all animal lovers. They'd rather look at him than you. Until some bastard painted him with blood coming down his side. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I checked. <laughs> Sorry, I missed that before. Um, you don't really believe Alan's version? Oh, no, honestly. the trans Yes, the transcript can be applied for. Uh-huh. 
available to the public to request. You're absolutely right. I did my best. Like I say, I was touch typing uh, throughout it, making my own notes. Um, and then reading it out, uh, was kind of summarizing it, trying to, um, when you touch type, sometimes you do like what's like shorthand and stuff. So I may have substituted, uh, one word for another, but not changing the meaning, if you know what I mean. And, uh, still upsets me when I say it. I took Winston away the picture after that, I took him out of the frame. It's not fair use my dog on me to use my dog against me to say the dog's not yours or it's your son's it's not your dog oh you know you know like now i don't know for sure but for a long long time people have been saying that that's luke's dog so i don't know and like show which parks i took him in so they can come and find me in the park with my dog you showed no, it yourself no no winston has gone into retirement it was well-deserved retirement but he's fine but Glad I'm not Winston's putting him in fine. the troll's sights to paint him with blood on him and stuff. No, thanks. I don't know anybody who would do that to Winston, you know, paint him or do an image like that. We're all animal lovers. Why Why do you think we would do that? Again, manipulation of his followers. Trolls are all bad. Trolls are animal haters. Attack me, okay? Attack me, not, not my dog and my family. Attack me. Okay, we will. Thanks, Al. You're so brave, aren't you, behind those? You're so brave. Mm-hmm. You don't even know what you're hating. I'm not on YouTube. Don't hate you. Just dislike you. Guilty. We hate you. Do you know what's funny? That um, people with no intelligence... This might come as a shock, right? People with no intelligence believe what they hear and see. There could be somebody talking to me about, about me now and saying things about me, which are lies... And people will believe them because they hear that person and see that person and they think because they're on their screen that they're telling you the truth. What like people do when they watch you, Alan, eh? People with real intelligence believe what they don't see. What, what the hell does that mean? Believe what they don't see. You rightly say so bitter. And Betty, Bo yes, GP News. What do you mean they believe what they don't see? They do their own investigation and try to find out the truth. Those are the people I admire, the people that... Hi, IQ, ghost. You know, I was thinking that. I'd only said that. Believe what they don't see. What? Spirits? Supernatural? Speaking of which, tell me what you think quickly in chat. I was um, thinking of doing a retro react to exactly that. Alan did a stream a few years ago about... Um, the paranormal, and he interviewed some so-called, uh, I think they were paranormal investigators or ghost hunters, and he talks about that. Um, if you'd like me to do that sometime, let me know in chat. Cheers. Don't believe what they see in here, but believe what they find out. They believe what they find out. You mean like facts, Alan? Like what we saw and heard and uh you know yesterday in the court hearing hmm. you think classic ad is always fun yeah unfortunately a lot of his classic stuff is what stuff which i really don't want to cover it's not right um but there are a few that aren't that could be fun to be true those are the people that i like the intelligent ones we create you like the ones that give you money, let's be honest. People thinking and brains rather than, yeah. Oh, pulling that cushion over. Uh, needs, needs a, I think somebody said this in Scots last night. Support blanket, yeah. Yes, you're so right. You're so clever. Everything you say is so right and so clever, even though you're talking at your backside. I don't talk out of my backside. Poop out my backside. Don't talk out of it. Do you, Al? No one knows more than me about the Chris Watts case. No yeah, right. No one knows more than me about this civil case where I'm... Someone's trying to sue me for what? <laughs> Talking. No. 
that was made clear yesterday. It absolutely is not just for talking. Hurty feelings. Hurty. How old are you, Alan, again? 69? Lisa, um... Oh, do you mean projecting? Projection. Yeah. Well, you have to prove quite a lot to win a defamation case. Oh, Lisa, don't worry, honey. Uh, I know all about brain fog. I'm not going to go into... There's a lot of stuff here, but I get you. You're not alone. Don't you? And it's the most foolhardy... I would never take anybody to court. Foolhardy? I think you mean foolhardy? Because I know what it costs. I... Didn't he threaten to take people to court before? Like he was going to see Scott and... Do I remember rightly he was going to try and sue Val, etc.? No, he's saying I'd never take anybody to court. And he has put in a counterclaim against Frankie's side. I'm not sure if it's against Frankie himself, but, but you know what I mean. And he even told the judge that yesterday. So out of his own mouth, we know that's true. He is suing somebody. You're not guaranteed to win. And even if you do win, if you do win, how are you going to get paid? So why would you take someone to court? Ever heard of principles, Alan? No, didn't think so. People aren't always just in things for money. There can be principles. Somebody did something like that really bad to me. I absolutely would consider taking them to court. So, foolhardy, if you ask me. Have we got it right I'm, that time? I'm going along with it because it's not costing me anything until now. Until now, exactly. Now you have to get money from somewhere. Yet to be seen where from. We know what you told the judge, but you lie that much. Yeah, we'll give Winston a hug. He's fine. You guys here have brains and intelligence. You guys here have jobs. We have brains and intelligence. Does that include who you call the trolls? Everybody watching, you've all got brains and intelligence. Thanks, Al. Lisa, whoever's written stuff for him to read out tonight is going, stop now, stop now, you're going to ruin it. Yeah, yeah, but you're right. Um, oh, here we go. Night. Now his diatribe about intelligence. RPE's a hammering sky poker for that big thing. <laughs> yeah, you're right. And yeah, Lisa, his mouth runs away from him. You got He's got verbal diarrhea. You guys here have families and you have a shower every day. Uh, I've got a family and I shower at least once a day, sometimes two or three times a day. Sometimes I like one at night as well. Just trying to say everybody's dirty. That uh, tells us more about you, Alan, I think. Going back to what Lisa said, projection. I think he's trying to tell us he doesn't shower every day. The trolls mm -hmm. don't bother with personal hygiene. They don't. Do you hear that? Don't bother with personal hygiene. You know every single, well, you call them trolls, I call them detractors. You know everyone personally, do you? Yeah, RP, we're all dirty and low intelligence. Bother to have anything other than hate. I Don't hate you. Lonely hovels not a hovel. World. Myself, along with many others, do not sit in hovels. I have quite a nice house, thank you very much. In my own name, I have a full-time job, really good job, thank you very much. I have pets, I have a family, I have fulfilling hobbies. Yes, I'm disabled and that's why some of my hobbies, you know, the things that I can do from home. I was strongly advised to do that and I'm glad I did. Because physically I can't get out and about so much, etc. But uh, speaking for myself, doing good, thanks at all. RP, Alan must have been sniffing trolls <laughs> Oh, Lisa, you're not smelly. <laughs> As for, I've just lost my bits. <laughs> I'm out for a drink soon. Enjoy, Asbo. Enjoy. We don't need each other. AD, AD, <coughs> AD. <coughs> you're doing that wrong, Alan. A.D. 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 
Mm. Betty, I'll never ever chuckle when anyone mentions Dropbox. I know. Can you imagine the stuff he sent to it, thinking the judge would open it and read it? I know. I don't think the judge even looked at any of it, didn't even open it. All those times he said he was sending new stuff. Yeah, exactly. He was uploading stuff to Dropbox. Yeah, that's because we're glad you caught us as well, but have a good evening, night. Yeah, he can't even do an impersonation of himself. You're right, RP. Gonna use hand puppets. <laughs> you're so right. You're all so right. I'm glad you're all here with me today. It's so much fun. I do a lot of videos because I don't have time during the week much to go live. Um, but this is so much more fun when you guys are here. Thanks for being here. AD, for the rest of their boring, crap lives. They're going to have to talk about me, but not see me, because I'm not going to be on social media much. For a while. You'll be but back. But I'll still be their life, aren't I? Oh, we hate AD. No hate. No hate, just the truth. We just, we're not here to hate AD. We're here to tell the truth about AD. Mm-hmm. don't even know me. We know what you put out there, and it's in, totally in your domain, what you put out there on the internet, how you behave. At all. You don't know what I like, what I do, what I do behind the scenes. Well, I beg to differ. There's some people who have found out what you do behind the scenes, actually. You know nothing about me. All you know is what someone tells you. No, as I said, we know what you put out there. You demonstrate your behaviour. What you believe. He is so you know, angry. You should try taking a shower, you know, guys. Or maybe have a shave if you're a guy. Maybe have a shave and a shower. Do you hear that? Any guys in chat? Could I have a shower? Oh, sorry, a shave as well as a shower now. Does that mean us girlies don't need to shave? Hmm. Does that mean he likes the hairy pits? And hairy others? As though well, we're the basement dwelling massive. Yeah, I like that basement dwelling massive. That could catch on. All the charity work he does. I know. Yes, RP. Don't leave us alone. Maybe go out sometimes. Maybe leave your hovel and go out. Leave your hovel. Not quite a disability slur. Not quite there, but he's not being inclusive here, is he? He's not thinking of people whose uh, only connection or main connection to the outside world could be social media and things like that. Hey? Vault dwellers, I suppose. <laughs> Betty Allen would take anything he could get. Harry Pitts on. <laughs> You're so right. You're so right. Sometimes. Of course, you can't. You're locked in, aren't you? No, not locked in. Oh, dear. <clears throat> Interesting the reference to being locked in. About that allegedly story going round, allegedly, reportedly, uh, not meaning to cause alarm or distress, about those two teenage girls who were locked in a pub in the southwest area. Mm. Court Zoom meetings aren't smelly fish. <laughs> Thank God they weren't, Connie, can you imagine? Yes, he is acting like a big baby. Well, he is a big baby. That's why you can't see below, you see, you only see the top of him because he's wearing a big baby nappy underneath. But you got each other, I mean. You got each other to hate Vinnie, come on. What if I'm... See that sneering? He's thinking, he's enjoying this. He's thinking, I'm going to get back at those nasty trolls. Those that live in hovels. I'm going to demean them to my followers so people can see how bullied I am, how picked on I am. Oh, RP, he's got a nappy. F <laughs> Not here. What? You're going to hate on somebody else? That... <laughs> Wait, why do you hate on somebody? Why not do something useful? Why not have a hobby or something? This is my hobby. And a few other people I know it's their hobby as well. You saying this can't be a hobby, Alan? Nah, you're wrong. I do have other hobbies as well. I do a lot of baking. I play piano. Lots of other hobbies. Won't bore everybody, but people have hobbies, you know, Alan. 
I think you're telling us more about yourself here that you don't have any hobbies. You don't have to hate somebody, right? It's not a YouTube thing that you have to hate someone. I don't hate you. How many times can we tell you that? You see in Scotland what hate does. Oh, this is where he does his shit about Scotland. RP got tons of hobbies and they've been enriched by the Allen first. Yes, you're so right. <coughs> Now, this bit about Scotland is a bit, you know, we've not got too much further to go, so I will play it, but this was just plain weird. I saw a, a little old lady uh, on my television last night. Let's on call it Helen from Scotland. First thing I thought when I saw this last night, you used the name Helen. If you know, you know. That's nasty, I think, using that name. She lives in a, a, a sort of flats with a communal garden, right? Communal. In the centre. And she said hassle from certain other people in this community. And she saw somebody, She, this lady, Helen, she has a rose bush. She's rose got roses. a bush. And she saw someone cutting down some of her roses, stealing. Mm, going back to what we were saying, was that a hairy bush, Alan? Did you get turned on by that? And she went inside and she got a phone and took a picture. Thanks for doing the hand actions there for us, Alan. We wouldn't have known what taking a picture meant if you hadn't done that. That's all. Took a picture. Within three hours. You like taking pictures too, don't you, Alan? You admitted a few weeks ago about you taking pictures covertly. Mm. She had four coppers inside her house. Telling her she's going to be arrested for hate crime. The person that stole the roses saw her take the picture and decided to report in Scotland, which you can do, decided to report her some false allegation that she called her something and she didn't, didn't even speak to her. But this woman, to get in first, because she thought she could be reported for stealing the flowers, she decided to say, Helen said, you are a whatever, right? And the police turned up at her house. And they come in and sat down with for anyone who doesn't know, this is to do with the new, I think it's hate law in Scotland. It doesn't apply anywhere else in the UK, but you probably already knew that. But just for anybody watching that doesn't know, because I'm going to cut this and put it on YouTube at some point. RP, sod off to Scotland then. They don't want you. Sorry, I see that. <laughs> on a sofa like this. And they said to her, we're going to have to take you to the station. On a sofa like yours, Alan? You think so? You think yourself is that good? Mm. Helen, she's 73 years old. No record, nothing. And Helen says, well, what, why, why? She says, can't, we can't talk to you in the house. Now, what a, what a waste of police money. Like you care. Why couldn't they just say to her, someone's reported you for calling someone a name? No, they have to take her to the station. Like you reported Scott for calling you names. Mm. That's one of your hobbies, isn't it, Alan? In what? <coughs> Do you know what? A police van. And they said, that we're going to have to handcuff you and take you in the van. She said, dear old lady, said, please don't do that. Just go and sit in your van to these policemen and I put my coat on and I come out. And to be fair to them, they said, OK, they could see it's ridiculous. So they went and sat in the van and the old lady put her coat on. She got in the back of the van, was driven for a 25 mile journey. She down it, didn't mind. <laughs> 25 mile journey. And then they had to wait a quarter of an hour to go into the clink. When she got in, she had to take off all her jewellery, all her rings, all her watches. Why is this important, all this detail? Just done nothing. He's just trying to fill out his Patreon, isn't he? Trying to think he's giving value for money. Lisa, I bet every time Alan sees something, he likens himself to like this. He shut his thing. Do you know, I haven't watched that video, but I've seen you all doing that same bit uh that's one of the ones that's on my watch later hey big ups marv thanks for joining we just uh when you're in the end here i just wanted to cover ed's uh patreon from last night we know it, it's been covered by scott and others but i wanted to do it myself and it's great fun when you guys are all here as well we have a laugh but someone's phoned up and said someone called her a name hurty feelings somebody called that word hurty again he's infantilizing isn't he oh that and the nappies do you think he's regressing 
for a name because of this new guy, Yosef, or whatever he's called. Yosef Useless up in Scotland taking over because of his new law. You don't want to call anybody useless. This is police procedure. Four policemen, 25 mile drive, treated like a criminal, put in a room for an interview. And yet the same police won't come and see you if you've had a break in or someone's stolen your car. I kind of agree with that. Well, if they did, it wouldn't be that within four hours, it'd be like four days. She was put to this ordeal, right? So they sit, they sit her down and say, Helen, it seems you called somebody a name. <laughs> yes, Connie, you're right. Four policemen, would be. 25 minute drive, make her feel like she's under arrest. In fact, you definitely would be. Because of useless. Yusuf, useless. Scottish National Party, you want to put that in the bin. Scott, if anybody votes Scottish National Party, I'll... I want to put you in the bin. And that's not a term you used until you watch detractor videos where people are saying, get in the bin. This from the guy who never watches YouTube. Mm -hmm. True RP, yeah. It would take an um, amount of time for them to get there. I want to speak to him again. <laughs> I'm sorry if you're a Scottish nationalist. No, you're not. But I think that your replacement for the poison dwarf is not good. Name calling. Not good at all. Now, if he was in Scotland and said that, does that mean that he could get arrested as well? So, um, she says, I didn't do anything. The, girl, the lady was stealing my roses, so I took a picture. I haven't reported it. I just took a picture in case I need it. Oh, they say. Sorry. Sorry for bringing you in. You can go. How much did that cost to the Scottish taxpayer? Yes, Four Connie. Blue Avanger, flashing lights. 30 minutes. What do you care what it costs the taxpayer? Somebody who... Uh... Oh, what's the right word? But that's my brain fog. But he wasn't allowed to be a director of a company for six years due to tax irregularities. That's public record. Couldn't they have done that over the phone? At the cost of a phone call? Did it need to spend, what, £500 on it? £500? You think that's what it cost? Because of useless Joseph and his hate crime? He's triggered by him, isn't he? Do you know why he's put... Do you know why I think he's triggered? Because he knows that if he was in Scotland, he couldn't get away with all the vile stuff he spouts. He'd be in trouble. In this hate crime, it's not for you or me or anyone. It's in case anyone becomes Islamophobic and criticises the great... What? You jump from that into Islamophobia. Yes, Betty, he is. Uh, you probably say you've seen the videos he's done on immigration. I He did one on, I think it was just one on YouTube. He definitely did at least one on YouTube before he got kicked off. And I wouldn't be surprised if that was a big part of the reason, contributory reason to why he got kicked off. Peace, religion, Islam. Then you're going to be arrested. I'll just say at this point, I do not share Alan's opinions on, well, anything, including this. That's what the law's for. That's when you're going to go to court, when you <laughs> question Islam. That's, but mark my words, Scottish people. That's when it's going to kick right in. When you say, I don't want this Islam religion taking over our lives. That Here we go again. Islam taking over everybody's lives. That's when you're going to be arrested. You don't believe me? No. A guy was arrested in London yesterday for having a flag, for having a, a sign saying Hamas is a banned organisation. He was arrested. Hamas is a banned organisation. He put it up. He was arrested. That's the I don't future know about that. of going against the great Islam. Don't do it. And people are going to be scared to do it, right? Believe me, already, they're going, we can't say anything about Islam. No, we can't say there's still a raw in slave trade in the Middle East, in Muslim countries. Yes, I'll the that. hands again. Because they're so hurt by 
us daring Ham to hands. criticize that religion. And that's now. Imagine when they're in charge, when they've got the Islamic party in charge. You don't even know what's coming, do you? Neither I do you. you. Oh, you do. I think we all know what's coming at the next court hearing, though. Anyway, that's what I worry about my grandchildren. Back to family again. I'm a family man. I'm nice, really. But now, at the moment, I'm worrying about my health because I, I had some more problems. Oh, and the health uh, quest not, again. Um... RP, yeah, Alan Rivers. <laughs> yeah, I shouldn't laugh at that, but yeah. Blood pressure problems. I have some more blood pressure problems because of all the stress I'm going through. Well... Hasn't, hasn't he had blood pressure problems for a while? Do you remember he did that video? Um, he didn't know how to work the blood pressure monitor or something a few years back, and he had one of his subs or spanners uh, take him through it. I'm not sure that this is new. Never have a lot of stress, I get blood pressure problems. So I thought, I've got to take a few weeks off, work on this. That's not why you took a few weeks off. You took time off because you knew the hearing was coming up and there weren't enough hours in the day to upload to Dropbox, was there? Because your internet's so shite. Probably took you an hour to upload, what, five meg file? Case, okay, so work on my health. Work on my fitness, and that's that's what I've been doing. Yes, RP, you're right. But um, I need your patrons to stay here because it's a long road, but we're coming to the end. I need you to stay here because I need all 19 of you for that monthly amount of money. End of the road. Once this civil case is out of the way. Why does he do the hand thing about civil? It is a civil case. There's no argument on that. It, you can't question that can get back to normal can't we back to normal what's normal for you hmm? that's what i want to do and i'm hoping one day the funds that's raised to raise money to get me locked up it's not i mean why does he keep saying locked up it is not criminal you're not going to get locked up and remember folks this is a guy who was a litigant in person and tried to prepare his own defence and failed miserably. Can you see why? Switches off one day. It'd be nice for it to switch off, wouldn't it? Peace. Yeah, I'll be, I know. More dramatic. I'm a pensioner. They want to lock me up. It's not fair. We'll be restored. I'm not on YouTube. Peace should be restored. How many times are you going to say that? It's been seven months nearly since you've been off YouTube. I think everybody knows by now, Alan to the streets of youtube and you guys honestly you don't need to talk about me anymore why do you why are you so obsessed with us not obsessed with you it's fun 69 year old man that's not even on youtube why are you still obsessed with me because of your behavior speaking for myself personally it's your behavior that i find abhorrent your behavior over the years and your behavior now i'm nothing to you forget about me i don't talk about the what's case what's case is gone you have been talking about the Watts case even up until a few weeks ago. So that's bullshit. You tried to do it sometimes behind Patreon and then you realised that that got out as well. Finished. So why why continue with your obsession? Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching me. Love you guys for supporting Love me you. all these years. Love you. Don't leave me. And again. <laughs> It's all going very swimmingly. No, it's not. Oh. You're drowning. You're drowning. The thing I don't talk about the what's case is... To... Yeah, I'll be exactly. Exactly. Well, thanks. That went... That was really fun with you guys. Thank you.